Hi everyone, welcome to the day 2 of lead code problems. Now we are in 30 days of JavaScript in the lead code problems. In the previous class we have discussed how to do uh, counter closure in the counter example. Now we are today we are going to discuss problem number 2665 counter 2. Let's see here, write a function create counter and it should accept here uh, an integer in it. Yes, it is saying it, it is accepting an integer. And then it should return an object with this following functions increment, decrement, reset. So increment will increase the value 1, decrement will decrease the value 1 and count uh, reset will make it the initial value. So their concept is so simple which they are explaining it here. Now if they give here counter dot increment then automatically if initial value is 5 it will get 6. Uh, if they give reset it should be 5. If they give it decrement it should be 4. So let's create it a simple one. Let's write it here, let value equals to init, initially I am taking in a value init and then here I am returning an object, that's what they are requiring it, in this object I am going to write three functions, increment and in the previous class I just explained you how to do arrow function and this arrow function will increment the value of value and will return sir, same way decrement will return a new value which will return it here minus minus value and next one we have something called reset now reset also will take it this is interesting point reset instead of returning uh, plus plus value which is or minus minus value it will return the or initial value which is original value so it should return something the actual value it can return something like init or you can directly write init there or you can write it something like value equals to init then it will be returned if it is an arrow function one statement you don't need to write it any return statements or the braces here it can be done else you may need to write now go here and check it up now see here decrement spelling is wrong you can check it up now increment decrement reset which passed in the test case 1 and passed in the test case 2 now to understand this one you need to understand a basic concept of closure which will take it the previous value which inner function can remember the outer function value and at the same time you need to understand it how a function can be used in arrow functions arrow functions you need to just write it a braces here and an arrow you don't need to write it return statement or the braces if it is a single line and that's it for today and hope you understand thank you